If hearing this really scares you about moving to Des Moines, I left off a lot of the good things. A lot of those bad things might actually be good things. Today, I'm gonna talk about the seven things that most people probably hate about Des Moines. Welcome to the Living in Des Moines YouTube channel. My name is Darson Grantham. On this episode, we are gonna go through the things about Des Moines that you're probably gonna hate, plus a bonus. Don't miss the bonus. Give you a little background. Des Moines is growing, not fast, but it's definitely growing. And a lot of that has to do with the tech scene, insulation that we have in the area of the economics. Politics are very pro-business, which is very good in economy right now. People in general are very conservative, so we don't jump clear up and we don't go crashing down. Today, I'm gonna talk about the seven things that most people probably hate about Des Moines. Reason number one that you probably don't wanna to move to Des Moines has to do with the weather. And no, 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 not the tornadoes that everyone says we have and that's the reason not to move to Iowa. The allergies in the climate change and humidity. Des Moines in general, you're not gonna see a cornfield most of the time. We have a lot of crops grown in Iowa. Corn, soybeans, hay, alfalfa, right? In the spring and summer time frame, puts a lot of humidity in the air. And then the humidity changes, right? So it, it dries out during the late summer. And then we get allergies. And people just in Iowa, there's such a change in pollen in the air that if you have allergies and you may not be used to, or your body is not accustomed to the pollen or the allergies here in Des Moines or in Iowa in general, it's gonna be a little annoying. And you can get over it. Some would argue that you just have to maybe eat a little healthier or you could take an over-the-counter medicine, not my recommendation, but there are ways to get around it. That is absolutely something that people come to Iowa or are from Iowa that they don't enjoy about living in Iowa. And reason number two, the extreme weather. And I say that because it is absolutely the truth. We can go from 60 degree weather to negative 30 in seven days. We just did it early, well, late in 2022. We had it, it as a December timeframe and literally we had such a drastic change. And what that does is a lot of people don't realize this. If you don't come from a place where it has major weather changes, everybody gets sick during that time. And I don't know the science behind it. I'm not going to get into those uh, conspiracy theories, although I wouldn't mind. But the weather changes those drastically. You're going to have more sickness during that time. Thanks for watching this far into the video. Obviously, you're still looking for that one reason why you don't want to move to Des Moines. If you want to know that reason or you want to talk with someone that has lived here for 15 plus years, please reach out to me, myself, or our team, and we'll sit down, grab a Zoom call, jump on the calendar, and we will go through the things that you need to have in a city for you and your family or the things that you absolutely can't have, and we'll see if any of those are deal breakers for Des Moines. Again, my name is Darson Grantham. I'm a real estate agent here in Des Moines, Iowa. Please reach out to our team. We are here to help. Even if, even if you're waiting for a year to move, please call us. Let's have a conversation. Let me get you on my email list so you're starting to see what it's looking like of my blogs, my weekly emails of what Des Moines is doing, how it's shaping out, the different events that are going on. We are here to serve you to learn and be educated about the Des Moines area market. Reason number three that you're probably not gonna wanna move to Des Moines. If you are an outdoor avid nut, you have to be outside all the time. Des Moines in general might not be best for you. We do not have mountains to climb or mountains to ski down. We don't have any of that. We do have some pretty sweet nature trails, some good forests. Our parks in Iowa, I would say are, we have just a lot of really cool parks. Now, you're not gonna get some crazy views in most of those parks. It's usually really treed and wooded and forest, right? You don't have any rivers to raft down. Yeah, we do have rivers to float down with a can of beer, case of beer, cooler a beer where you float down the river and you relax all the way down in the summertime. That's absolutely something. But if you're looking for somewhere to raft, we don't have that. If you're looking for somewhere that you can be outside all year round, you can do it here, but it's really tough. I used to work at a place. There was a guy at the, at the office. He rode his bike every single day of the year, even when it was negative degrees out. It is possible. Probably not something you're going to absolutely love to do. If that is you, maybe Des Moines isn't perfect, but most people will say that they're outdoors people 
I, would, I don't know what the percentage of it is, but I almost guarantee most people say they're outdoor people, but really they just wanna be able to go outside occasionally. It doesn't have to be every single day outside. Reason number four, you probably don't want to move to Des Moines. And that's gonna be, we are fourth in the nation in obesity from my understanding. We consume a lot, like break records in the amount of alcohol consumption. When I was in high school, we always laughed about that and we were really proud of that. Now as an adult and I have kids, I'm kinda like, yeah, I'm not sure that's something that I really wanna be that proud of. Nonetheless, it is the truth. It's something that you need to know if you're thinking about moving to Iowa. Number five on that list of reasons you probably don't wanna to move to Iowa, and that is the politics. And no, I don't mean we have a fight between Republican and Democrat and they're fighting in Iowa or there's a lot of um, a lot of riots. Like That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the political caucus for, it used to be Democrat, now I don't think that's going to happen in Iowa where the first um, caucus, I don't think so, but Republican, um, their first primaries are here in Iowa. So what that means, why does that matter? If you're not from Iowa and you haven't experienced this, you don't fully grasp what this means because you haven't seen literally every single ad that you're gonna see in a political cycle is going to be Republican or Democrat or independent hating on the other person. Pretty annoying. I actually stopped watching TV, so don't see that many of the commercials, but you still see a lot of billboards. You see mailers. You still experience the level of political hate for one another for a six to nine month period running up into the election. Number six reason you're probably not gonna want to move to Iowa. It's not very walkable, which kind of might lead to the obesity problem that we talked about earlier. It's not very walkable. The city planners of the suburbs and Des Moines proper, I'd say they did an injustice on trying to develop a plan to make the city more walkable up until the last five years. The last five years, almost all of the plans that I have seen have shown, hey, we want to get more biking, more walkability, more trails. So it is becoming a bigger thing, let's just put it that way, but it is not something that the city focused a lot on the previous 20 years. And you can tell because the mass transit is really bad here. And I don't say it's bad as in like scary and doesn't work. I say it's bad as in nobody uses it. And also might have something to do with the fact that you can drive and commute 20 minutes to downtown Des Moines from pretty far outside in the suburbs. So just a 20 minute drive gets you to your work. You don't really need walkability and accessibility when your drive is that short. Most cities that have high walkability, it's typically because they don't want to commute 45 minutes to two hours every day to work one way. And number seven of why you might not wanna to move to Des Moines, and I'm gonna argue this just a little bit, the fact that we are terrible drivers. I don't know how to judge that. I'm not sure if there's any real studies that show one state of drivers are worse than others. I specifically remember uh, driving down to Alabama to visit some of my uh, wife's family. Nothing against Alabama, but this particular day, these drivers were crazy. They would not let you on with the turning signal. Basically, you just don't use turning signals so that they don't know that you're trying to get on or move lanes so that they don't try to speed up and not let you in. So I don't wanna say that Alabama's worse than Iowa. I don't wanna say Alabama's worse than uh, California, because I've seen that in California also. Some might say that we have Sunday drivers. People drive really slow. Yeah. And I think it's because people don't have anywhere to go sometimes in Iowa because they're just kind of just uh, going along with the flow, which I love personally. When you get stuck behind one of those Sunday drivers in a one lane road, that sucks. It's not fun. You can't pass them too hilly. You can't, you can't get where you're going. So I can understand the hate on Iowa drivers at times. And for our bonus, the reason you might not want to move to Des Moines would be our road construction is bonkers. There's a main road um, that goes from 235 down to the downtown, down through um, the south side and then to the airport. It's called Fleur Drive. Starts MLK off 235, then it turns into Fleur. This road, I've lived here for 15 years. This road has been under construction every single one of those 15 years. It floods all the time. And so they have to rebuild and replant the, the plants that are in the middle of the median. There's watering that has to happen by the city of Des Moines in the summer. During the workday, there is one lane blocked off on both sides where they're watering the median to keep the plants alive. I, f I love that they're trying to keep the plants alive. I hate the fact that they didn't plan ahead to put irrigation systems in there so that you don't have to block off lanes and pay city workers to water the flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna digress. Away from Fleur, 
onto other parts of the city. Because of the drastic weather changes, water gets in a pothole, freezes in the wintertime, blows up the cement, and then you have a pothole. It happens all across the city, every single street, and that creates construction. I don't think it's going away. I don't think it's actually probably anything the city did wrong in their planning of reasons and, and seeing the extra construction or more construction. I don't think they could have done anything different. I think just what you get when you have drastic weather changes. That's my bonus, technically, number eight, reason why you probably don't wanna to move to Des Moines. If you have a fancy sports car, if you have a low profile car, and you need to drive that through all seasons, I think you're going to hit too many potholes and it's going to annoy you and you're either going to buy a different car, don't move to any of the Midwest wintry cities. Now, if hearing this really scares you about moving to Des Moines, I left off a lot of the good things. A lot of those bad things might actually be good things. The weather, the drastic weather changes, we have four seasons in Iowa. You get to see the trees turn colors. You get to see the, the grass be green. You get beautiful snow. There are great things about the drastic weather changes in Iowa. There are many things that you might not mind on this list of reasons not to move to Des Moines. I'm gonna let you pick that. If you need a realtor, if you need someone that, to show you around Des Moines, please choose me, someone on our team, email us below, click a link, jump on our calendar. We are here to serve you. We wanna make sure that moving to Des Moines is not a bad decision for you. It may be a bad decision for some people, maybe the best decision in the world for others. We wanna make sure that it is a good decision for you. Reach out to our team, we'll help you pick the neighborhood, help you pick the type of house, help you pick people that you want to be around, and help you pick the location that best fits your family's life. Again, my name is Darson Grantham. I'm a real estate agent and investor here in Des Moines, Iowa, and this channel is all about what it's like to live in Des Moines. See you next time.